Welcome back everybody. Hit that like, hit that subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. But today we're gonna to be going over exactly how Vic Fangio is gonna make this defense much better in year one. I think a lot of people, they thought we got Vic Fangio and they're like looking for the future and all this other stuff, which myself was included. But then I started taking a look at some of the statistics of Vic Fangio, the other teams that he has been on, and the quick turnaround that a lot of them have had when Vic Fangio has gotten to the team. So Vic Fangio has a pretty good record of making teams better the first year that he steps foot. Now, of course, we're gonna talk about, there have been a couple teams where he has top 10, top five defenses, but most of his teams, if not all of them, have immediately gotten better right when he steps foot on campus, not campus, onto the field and onto you know the, the staff. So every single team has gone almost to at least 10 spots up in total yards that have been allowed and total points that have been allowed. Every single one of his teams. Um, and this is I'm talking about in the first year, all of them have jumped by 10 spots in the rankings when from 1 to 31st. So we're gonna go over each one of these right now. So we're gonna start off with the Saints in 1986. And at that time, he was a linebackers coach. Now, of course, we're gonna give credit to, you know, obviously the other staff as well. But linebackers coach, this was, I think, one of his first like real official jobs. And that team at the time, before he got there was 22nd in total points allowed and 26 in total yards allowed. And the first year that Vic Fangio stepped foot in the New Orleans Saints facility, that year they jumped up 10 spots. They went from 22nd and 26th to 7th in total points allowed and 14th in total yards allowed on that team. That is a significant jump. Yes, we're not talking about top tens of all this stuff, but you know, that is a significant jump that if you really consider this, that last year, I think we were 23rd or one of the like 23rd or 24th in both of these categories. If we jump 10 spots and we are 12th and 13th, well, that cuts off half the points that each team scored against us, which would basically make it so that we won every single game last season. If you really consider that, if the defense jumps 10 spots and the total points and the total yards allowed against the Miami Dolphins was with the Vic Fangio type of statistic, every game we would have won. We only lost by six points, six or seven points every single game that we lost. So if that were the case, we would have won every single game, including the playoff game. So the next one is going to be the Colts and the Colts in 1999. He was the defensive coordinator. This is, I think, his first defense coordinator job and or it might not have been his first defense. It might have been something else. But the Colts as a in 1999, him as a defense coordinator, they were 29th in both. So they were 20. They were basically bottom of the league for this defense. And when he got there, they went from 29th, which is but dookie, horrible, you know what I'm saying? It's just not good at all. To 17th and 15th, which, yes, 17th and 15th, you're not like, oh my God, that's amazing. But you have to consider, you're in the bottom of the league for everything. If you get your team to the middle percentile, that is a significant jump. So the Colts went from bottom tier defense to just basically an average defense, which is very, very good, you know? And then of course, you know, he kept making it better and better, but 17 to 15, that was better than what our defense was last year. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, these are significant jumps, even though you don't see it. The Ravens, and this is gonna be one of the cooler ones to talk about. He was the special assistant to the head coach. 2006, he was a special assistant. And of course, the Ravens defense was always good. It was 10th and 5th. But when he was the special assistant to the head coach in 2006, they were first in all categories. They became the best defense in the league and one of the most historical defenses 
that was Vic Fangio's first year going there. Where, yes, of course, they were always great, but they were 10th and 5th, which are amazing. But he gets there, and they are number one in everything. So what you can see from that is that the potential that they had on the team, he maximized and made them the best actual defense in the league. And he does that, you know, in multiple teams where, you know, the Bears at one point were an incredible historic defense. So then he became the coordinator in San Francisco in 2011, and they were 16th and 13th at that year. He transitioned them to second and ninth, which is another significant, and this is all, I'm telling you, this is all first year Vic Fangio, which is going to be pretty amazing for what we can do. The next one, obviously, was the Chicago Bears, and they went from 31st and 30th which is bottom tier, 20th and 20, or, or 14th, which again, as we all know, with the 49ers and the Bears, they eventually became top three, top five defenses in the league. So you can see 31st and 30th, they were terrible. And of course, 20th and 14th, yes, you, you don't go, oh my God, that's amazing. But the first year, when you take the worst defense in the league and you make them average, that's incredible. And then again, with the Chicago Bears, they eventually got to a point where they were the number one defense in the league. So what we can see here, and then obviously Denver, he had some injuries, but they went from 13th and 22nd to 10th and 12th, which is pretty incredible from what we can see from the, the, the work, the body of work that Vic Fangio has had over his years, where the guy has basically turned every defense elite. And we were looking at before just the actuality of in a couple years, you know, he will make us elite. No, his first years on every team that he has had, he has turned them into bottom tier average or average to incredible defenses. His first year. And what we can see is that we're going to discuss more of the Ravens is that the Ravens were a very good team. They were a very good defensive team. But when Vic Fangio got there and why we can compare this to the Miami Dolphins is that when Vic Fangio got there, he made them from very good to excellent. And with the Dolphins right now, we were 22nd or 23rd. And that's without Jalen Ramsey. That's without Cam Smith. That's without Deshaun Elliott. You know, that's without um, our linebacker core. Um, honestly, that's without Ogba as well. Completely different defense. So you have this potential that our defense could be pretty average if, you know, we started out right now, which we were close to average. So if you think about it, 22nd, 23rd defense, if... You take that and jump it 10 spots up, then that's 11th and 12th. That means that our defense will stop people, which was something that we did not see as a common occurrence when we were watching the Dolphins last year, is that they did not stop anybody. They could not stop a single team. And when it mattered most, we just let things go. Uh, Vic Fangio, in his first year, I think we have to really be excited that he's going to really turn this defense around. There's going to be a lot more zone, a lot less big passes, a lot more control, you know, whereas before it was so erratic and it was cool and there were stats, but then we played good teams. They just took advantage of us because they knew exactly what to do. Good coaches knew how to take advantage of the old defense. Now it's going to be much more controlled and it's going to be much more of a disciplined type of defense where there are going to be plays, but for the most part, we're just going to shut teams down and they're just not going to be able to move the ball against us. And like I said, Vic Fangio, first year, he's going to probably improve this defense like it has shown in history that it says probably by 10 spots in his first year. So, and then ongoing from the years after that, he's probably going to make us even better. You know, we'll see top top five or top 10 or something like that, which in essence makes the offense not have to do crazy, dramatic things every single time they're on the field. They can just focus on moving the ball to it can be better because he doesn't have to force plays. All these different things play better. We can run the ball more because we know that if we get down or if we don't uh, – get a good running play then we can you know allow the defense to just come back on the field and shut them down it is going to make the whole entire team better with Vic Fangio but just wanted to make a quick video telling you exactly how I think in the first year Vic Fangio is going to make this defense better but as always hope you have a great rest of your day fins up peace